Hi guys, thank you for joining the Royal We. My name is Kevin and now that Christmas is over, you can be left in the aftermath of the decision that you made and how you dealt with the toxic and wicked individuals that you know in your life during Christmas. Now guys, I want this video to be an encouragement for you. I want to affirm the decision that you made and how you spent your Christmas. I want you to be able to go forward into this new year confident in the decisions that you're making and how you're going to deal with the toxic and wicked people that you know. So guys, there's three main possibilities of how you decided to handle this Christmas when it comes to dealing with the toxic, narcissistic people in your life. Now, the first uh, way in which I want to talk to you about is that you made the decision not to go, not to be a part of it, and maybe you're feeling right now that you don't know if that was the right decision for you to make. You may be feeling a little bit guilty, you may be feeling uh, a little bit nervous about what people might be thinking or what they might say, all right, or what it means for the future. Guys, I want to tell you that if this is you, first of all, congratulations. I want to congratulate you in your decision to finally say no more, to step out of the abusive situation away from the toxic and nasty people in your life. Congratulate you for finally asserting yourself for making that decision to say no more, to not go along with the delusional plans of the abusive, toxic, narcissistic individuals who think that you have to go along with their plans. Guys, the book of Timothy in the Bible has this to say, have nothing to do with these people. Nothing. It doesn't say have nothing to do with these people unless they're your family. No, it says have nothing to do with these people, period. And so by making the decision not to spend time with these people on Christmas, you have made the decision to not have anything to do with such people. You're actually doing the right thing. You're making the right decision. Furthermore, guys, you are finally walking according to the integrity. Listen guys, you probably have spent years, as I did, trying to talk to these people, trying to talk to narcissistic, wicked people, trying to uh, challenge them to be nicer to you, telling them that you don't like to be cussed at, you don't like to be called names, you don't like to be demeaned, and it never works. You can talk and talk and talk to these people all you want, and it's never gonna change anything. So finally, you silently stepped away. You realize that I'm not just going to talk about it anymore. Now I'm going to make the decision to step away. Let your silent absence from their lives, from their party, from their celebration, let your silent absence speak volumes of words to them. Personally, I've learned that I would rather be around just me and two other people or three other people who genuinely love me and who we are together. There's no animosity, no hostility. I'd rather have that than a bunch of people, a bunch of family members who really don't care about each other. All right? All right, guys. Now, that's the first situation. The second situation that's a possibility is that you were made to feel guilty. Maybe you decided that you didn't want to go. You let it be known that you were going to make other plans, and they guilted you into showing up. They let you know that so-and-so would be crushed, and it'd be horrible if you weren't there. They even promised you that they were going to be good, that there would be no problems. And so you went ahead and you gave in and you showed up. And then while you were there, sure enough, one of the abusive, toxic narcissists ran their mouth, got in your face, got hostile, tried to yell at you, tried to put you down, tried to demean you, gave you dirty looks, really made you feel uncomfortable. And so you did what the only thing you could have done which is to get out of the situation. Because you really only have two choices. You can fight or you can just leave. So maybe you just up and left. You walked out, you left your presence there, <laughs> you left the gifts there, everything, you just left. If this is you, I wanna affirm for you that you made the right decision by just getting up and walking out. Don't say goodbye, don't take the gifts, just get up and leave. 
Guys, in the book of Matthew, it says this, when you walk into a house, if the home is worthy and you come with your peace, let your peace rest in that house. But if the home is not worthy, then bring your peace back to you. Get up, walk out, and shake the dust off your feet. Yes, even if it's family. And so by leaving and leaving the gifts there, you're basically walking out, shaking the dust off your feet. You realize that you had no business being there, guys. And let this serve as a reminder to you of who and what you're dealing with. You see, you're not dealing with people who love and care for you. Even when they tell you, even when they make you feel guilty, they're not doing it because they wanna see you. It's their last attempt to control you. It's their last attempt to try to get you to submit to their world, right? And why do I say it's their last attempt? Because listen guys, these wicked individuals, these toxic narcissists know they're losing control. You've been distancing yourself for some time. You're not putting up with them. You're not fighting with them anymore. They're losing. They know they're losing. They're losing their grip, their grip on you. So their attempt to bring you in through guilt and then to punish you while you're there is their last attempt to try to get you to submit to their world and how they wanna treat you. And by getting up and leaving, you're saying, no, I'm not going to submit to you. I'm out. You're done. Bye. You're done. Boom. It's over. Closure. You walk out every time they start to run their mouths. You get up, you go. You don't take anything with you. Shake the dirt off your feet, guys. Good job on that if that was your decision, that you showed up and then you left quickly because it got uncomfortable. Good for you. All right? All right, now guys, the third option I want to talk to you about, a little bit more difficult one. Let's say once again you were invited, you were guilted into going or whatever, you really didn't want to go, but you showed up anyways, and you visited these toxic, wicked individuals, and surprisingly, you had a decent time. Nobody said anything bad. Nobody did anything inappropriate. Nobody got in your face. And so maybe you're dealing right now with a little bit of confusion, saying, wow, well, maybe things are changing. Well, listen, if you're watching this video right now, you know better. No, it doesn't mean anything is changing, right? You know that abusive, toxic, narcissists, and wicked individuals, they know how to turn on that best behavior attitude. They can start mirroring you, right? Like it's no problem. After all, that's what they did when they met you. But you have to understand that behind those fake smiles and behind that fake kindness is the bitter hatred that they live with, the anger and the hostility. They're ticking time bombs, waiting to explode. But once again, because they know that they're losing a relationship with you, right? that maybe they feel going back to the love bombing phase where they're pretending everything is good and they love you and they're mirroring you and they're in your face going, yeah, yeah, how are you? Oh yeah, I like that too. Oh, amazing, yeah, oh, you like that? Oh man, that's awesome, right? That's, that's all they're doing is mirroring you. So guys, be warned, this is not a sign or an indication that they've changed and that anything in life is gonna be better. So don't walk away thinking that you're gonna be buddies. I would not start hanging out and doing things with them, right? If you wanna know if an individual has changed, you will know by the fruit of their life, not by them getting in your face, mirroring you, love bombing you, going, yeah, uh-huh, oh, really? Oh, wow, yeah, me too. That's not an indication that someone's changing. That's someone just getting in your face, giving you lip service and little compliments and, and this and that, right? Their lifestyle, look at their life. Their life will have fruit of real change, of real godliness, of if, if there's any change going on. But if they're still stuck in the same thing, still uh, dealing with the same people in their life, still living in the same lifestyle and you know it, then, then know, guys, that it's fake. And underneath their facade is still that same anger and that same bitterness. All right, guys? Furthermore, guys, the book of Jeremiah has this to say about family. It says, even when family, specifically, when family speaks well of you, do not trust them. And it's talking about toxic and wicked narcissistic family members. Do not trust them because they've spent enough time already demeaning you, devaluing you, gossiping about you, slandering about you. And their time doing that is how they really feel. That's what's behind the kindness of when they speak well of you, all that stuff, and it's still there. All right, guys? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Like I said, I want you to be encouraged going into the new year that the decisions that you're making to leave the situation, to stay away from the toxic people, even if it's family members, 
right? The decision that you made, I want you to, to be affirmed. I want, I want to affirm that you made the best decision that you can. And I want go into the new year working on your healing, right? On learning to detach and separate from these types of black hole personalities that you know, because that's what they are. They're black holes. You're wasting your time, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are interested going into the new year and taking the Royal Week course, I encourage you to check it out. Click the link in the description box down below. Drop down the description box. The link for the course is right there. Guys, it will help set you up and prepare you to go into this new year learning how to identify and stay away from the wicked and toxic individuals and from narcissistic people. Guys, follow me on Instagram at join the Royal We, and I have a lot of really good videos coming up that are going to be live, and I'm looking forward to you guys joining me. So stay with me, guys. Thanks. Bye.